Hello everyone, today we are going to be speaking about the four conclusions that were deducted from Rosalind's X-ray diffraction pattern. So, uh, Rosalind Franklin is the one who came up with these conclusions from this X-ray diffraction of the DNA structure. So the first conclusion she came up with was, was um, the cross in the center indicated that the molecule is helical. So when we look at this um, structure, we could see a very clear cross right in the middle. And this is because the molecule is helical. And the second conclusion is that the angle of the cross, so it's this angle, this one, it showed the pitch or the steepness of the angle of the helix. So I just would show this better. So the helix pitch or its degree of rise could be calculated from the angle this x makes. So this would be the equivalent of the angle of the amplitude of the helix. Now the third uh, conclusion is that the distance between the horizontal bars shows that the terms are 3.4 nanometers apart. So this picture is also going to show it as clear. Um, the distance from this point to this point is equivalent to the distance from one peak to the next. So this would make up one term, so the distance between these two points would be the equivalent of one term, which is 3.5, uh, 3.4 nanometers apart. This is the different kind of uh, measure that you don't really need to know. And now finally, um, the distance between the middle of the diffraction pattern and the top showed um, that there was a repeating structure within the molecule with a distance of 0.34 nanometers between the peaks. This is the vertical distance between the adjacent base pairs in the helix. Now this picture is also going to show it as clear. So we said um, the height of one helical repeat is 3.4 nanometers. Uh, this is angstrom's is a different measure that we're not going to get into it's not required from all these students so the distance from the center to the top is the distance between this point to this or like the distance between two red lines and there are 10 red lines here, implying that there are 10 nucleotides because the distance between each red line is 0.34 nanometers. And the distance between the entire thing is 3.4 nanometers. So if you multiply 0.34 into 10, or 3.4 angstroms into 10, you're going to get 34 angstroms or 3.4 nanometers. So this tells us quite uh, simply that the distance between the middle and the top is the vertical distance between adjacent base pairs in the helix. Um, you, you will not be required to explain in details more than this what's actually going on because the assessment statement is Rosalind Franklin's investigation of DNA structure by X-ray diffraction. So if you just know these four points, that is more than enough.